Oh my god. It's done. It's, I mean, you know, it's mostly done. It's almost done. I typed the end again. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first ever Manuscript Monday video. I decided to get in on this because I love everyone else's Manuscript Monday videos, but also I'm starting out with a bang. If you follow me on Twitter, you will probably already know this, but I finished, I finished draft two, draft 2.5, whatever, of my young adult pirate fantasy novel and oh, it's done. I cannot believe. It's done. It's almost as good as I can make it. I'm gonna go back through. I took notes as I was writing for things that I need to go back and put in at the beginning, kind of like foreshadowing elements for some of it. And for other things, I didn't have like a concise name throughout the novel. So I have to go back and change little things like that, but things so that a reader will understand. I have to fill in a couple of brackets that I've left open, but like more or less, or less, <laughs> it is done. It is almost done. So I'm giving myself another like week and a half-ish before I make a printout, which I've talked about before in my 10 steps to move beyond the first draft. I made that video forever ago, but I stand by what I said. <laughs> After that additional pass-through, I'm going to print out three copies. I'm going to bind them. I'm going to put draft 2.5 as the cover title, and I'm going to give them to two of my beta readers, and I'm gonna keep my copy for me tucked into my desk drawer so that I don't look at it for the next month. But, <sighs> It's done! I'm so excited! I don't even know what people normally talk about in these Manuscript Monday videos. I've seen so many of them and my mind is just blank right now. So this novel doesn't have a name because I'm awful with titles. Um, it actually, I mean, it has a tentative name, but I don't really like it if I'm being honest. So I don't totally want to share it with you, but it's, I'm going to rename it. So there were two names I was between and when I was first doing it, I called it The Pirate Apprentice, which is super like, on the nose and also like really stereotypical and that just not what I want to do. And then when I was doing other things I called it Blood Red Sea which is apt but in a different way than the Pirate Apprentice one is. And I still don't know how I feel about that title but because I'm going to get this one traditionally published or that is my hope. Ooh, you know. You know how that goes. I'm hoping I will get to the querying stage very soon and so because I want to get it traditionally published I really don't mind if the title changes and that's actually one of the things that I haven't mentioned in my beta reader who what how video but I do think that you can ask beta readers for name recommendations because sometimes things will just stand out to people better than they stand out to you because you're so deep in it. So that's one thing that I'm gonna do. For sure, I'm going to ask for some naming help because of course when you're querying you actually have to have a name. Uh, people like that. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> oh yeah, Kate, what is this story about? Oh my gosh, that's something that's important to mention to people. <laughs> it's about pirates, betrayal, treason, coming to terms with things that you've done, kind of the actions have consequences, the difference between being left behind and leaving someone. And like a lot of pirate novels, it's kind of wading through the what is right versus what is wrong. Because I think what makes pirates so interesting is that they're constantly sailing through that murky gray area. I work in Google Docs and I have a different doc for each chapter and so I finally counted up how many words I have and right now I'm so surprised because I mentioned before that I tend to lack description a lot of the time and that's something that I'm doing now or I will continue to do when I go through it again before I give it to beta readers is just adding in more description so that they have a better idea of what I'm trying to convey. But I'm at 67,944 words! That's crazy for me. And to be fair, the first draft of this, like the first first draft, had only like 40,000 words. I think if I do this right, it'll probably end up at about 80,000 words, maybe 85,000 words. So <sighs> I still can't believe I finished. <laughs> If everything goes according to schedule, and I've been trying really hard about being more realistic in how I schedule things and how I plan ahead, and so far, like with this draft, it's worked pretty well. I think I'm finally starting to get a rhythm on myself and be totally honest with myself and how quickly I can work. So I think if I give it to beta readers for almost the entirety of March, I don't look at it. I can fix it again in April in a month. And then beta readers again in May. So I'm hoping I'll be ready to query it June, July-ish. I will be on the road then, which is going to make this very interesting. But thankfully everything's done by email and online now, so I'm not overly concerned. Oh man, that's, that's so exciting because I never thought a day would come when I would actually be at a stage where I'm getting this close to querying because I have been this close before when I've had beta readers read a totally different story and I realized for where the market was at, there was just no way it was ever going to be traditionally published. 
and that's okay you don't have to be traditionally published you don't have to you know you don't have to do that but for that story that's kind of what I wanted so I'm sitting on it right now until the market changes a little bit and who knows how long that'll be but I'm enjoying throwing myself into other projects like this one and I really I've moved on from it I also got myself champagne to celebrate. I deserve this. I earned this. <laughs> so I'm hoping the next manuscript Monday or maybe even the one after it I can show you my printout because ooh, I'm so excited. All right I just wanted to share that with you guys because oh my gosh it is finally here. It's getting so close to the end and I still love this story. That has been the best thing so far is how much I love this story because even fixing it up has been just so fun and so enjoyable and I know it doesn't always seem that way on Twitter when I'm complaining about things but I really have just had the best time working on this and I think that's a good sign and at the very least it's helping me improve my skills for the next story if that's the one that it's gonna take or the next one after that so all in all man you guys I'm so happy <laughs> All right, that's it for this video. Please comment down below and let me know how far along you guys are on your drafts. Are you at the revision stage on anything? Because can we do like an online drinking thing and bash revisions? Cause I know I just said how happy I am, but oh my God, revising is so hard. <laughs> I'm in a glass case of emotion. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna get back to revising. That's a lie. I'm definitely gonna get back to finishing my champagne. <laughs> and I will see y'all very soon with a new video. Bye.